So in order to make drinkable juice, one needs to mix juice concentrate with water in a specific ratio. The recommended ratio of the amount of juice concentrate to the amount of water is 1 to 6. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. Juice concentrate, and I'm going to write the water in red. Water is 1 to 6. And that would mean the entire glass is going to have seven parts. Anne made four glasses of drinkable juice uh, and then drank one glass of juice. She found the drinkable juice too watery, so she added a third of the glass of juice concentrate to the leftover dr drinkable juice. What is the ratio of the amount of juice concentrate to the amount of water in the drinkable juice now? Um, so I like to go ahead and model it over here. So we're going to have one part concentrate and six parts water. So we have one part concentrate, six parts water, which means our glass is going to have seven parts. And I'm going to go ahead and start drawing our glasses. So this is her glasses before she drinks one. So then she drinks one glass, so we're going to get rid of one. And then she decides that it is too watery, so she adds a third of a glass of juice concentrate. So a glass is seven parts, and she is only going to add a third. So seven divided by three is two and a third. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two more circles, and then just right here in the same color, I'm going to write a third to remind me. So we can go ahead and count up our concentrate circles, which is one, two, three, four, five, and one third. I'm going to write it over here. This is our new ratio. And to find out how much water we have, we just count up our circles here, which is going to be 18. We can't have a mixed number and a ratio, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 3, just to get rid of this fraction here, because you, if you multiply 3 by 1 third, you'll get rid of it. And whatever we have to do, whatever we do to this side, we have to do to the other side, which will give us... 16 to 54, which you can reduce to 8 to 27.